Hello, if you're new here, my name is Hannah and I'm a master's student. I'm currently studying my master's in marketing with brand management. And despite the fact that I'm a lazy student, I keep scoring straight A's. I won't be sharing memorization techniques or note taking techniques in this video. I'm sure that there are a lot of videos on the internet for that. But if you're interested in learning exactly what I do to prepare myself to get straight A's and how I get straight A's in all my reports, then keep on watching. The first step is to map out your learning pattern. It's a mistake to think that we all learn the same way. And I think that this is one of the biggest challenges of the educational system. We're all put in a classroom and taught in the exact same way and we're expected to come out in flying colors but this doesn't work out in that way because we are all different and we learn differently some people learn by attending lectures and taking notes some others learn by joining a group study some people are auditory learners and some people prefer self-study personally I prefer to study by myself no matter how many lectures I attend or how many notes I take in class it just doesn't work out for me in that way I still need to go back home and study it for myself and that is when I understand what I am doing. The second step is to have an extreme productivity day. Whenever I have to submit an assignment or a report, then I know it's time to add an extreme productivity day in my calendar. An extreme productivity day is simply a day that I set aside to complete that assignment no matter how long it takes. And so an extreme productivity day can take anywhere between 4 to 12 hours. But the most important thing is that I don't stop until I'm done with that assignment. That means in that single day, I'm going to do my research, I'm going to do my rough draft, I'm going to do my second draft until I'm done with that assignment, I don't put my pen down. I know that there are other tasks that I need to do. So prior to my extreme productivity day, I make sure to sort out all those tasks. So if I need to do any house chores, if I need to go grocery shopping, if I need to do any meal prepping, I make sure to do it before that day. My desk is all cleared, my notebooks are set, my laptop, everything is available. Everything that I need to study for that four to 12 hours is already available for me so that I can get the maximum productivity on that particular day. The third thing you need to do is to pay attention to details. The devil is in the details guys so I make sure to dot my I's and cross my T's. I read every single question carefully. As a matter of fact whenever I am presented with any question I rewrite the question in the way that I want to understand, in the way that makes sense for me while capturing all the details. Sometimes the reason why we are not scoring very high marks in our report is that we want to answer the report or we want to take our own approach which is very different from what the lecturer is expecting so one thing i do is to read out all the questions carefully i then interpret the question in the way that i understand making sure that i capture all the details sometimes i schedule a call with the lecturer to try and understand exactly what it is they want and i pay attention to what they're saying i remember in my last report and i was speaking to my lecturer she was mentioning some specific details and i was penning it down she was mentioning some specific examples and those were the exact same examples that i used in my report so it kind of shows that I was paying attention to her and I was paying attention to what she was saying and my research was very streamlined so I wasn't researching different things and trying to impress her she's in education she's already impressed there is nothing new that I would want to do that she has not seen however I still added my own twist I still added it the way that I understood but I made sure to capture exactly what it is she was saying and kind of tried to match that with my own direction as well so you need to find a healthy balance and not just stray or go in just your own direction another high level strategy i use is to look at the examples that we have been given in class so whenever we're given any assignment to write or any reports to write 80 percent of the time we're giving like examples from past students because thankfully we are not the first batch of students studying marketing with brand management so there is always someone that has really aced the report so we are given like one of these reports to just study and I don't stray away from the format usually we're even given between one to three examples and I don't stray from this format 
even when I want to get creative, I make sure that my creativity is still within the format that I've already been proven because I'm trying to follow a proven system. I'm not trying to, to like map out something different. I'm trying to follow a proven system. So whatever creativity, whatever um, report styling that I want to do is still going to be in that exact format. So what I do is that I look at the three examples that we're given and I try to pull like different uh, patterns from each of these examples. I don't try to do anything different from that. Sometimes I also look at their structure, like how is this, how did they start this paragraph? That's the exact same way I'm going to start the paragraph. How did they start this section? That's the exact same way I'm going to start that section. But with my own knowledge, with my own research, with my own approach, with my own style of writing. Do you understand what I mean? So I don't stray away from the people that have already aced it, people that have already, have already scored like 90% in class. No instead I follow in their footsteps as soon as I enrolled for my master's program the next thing I did was to join different school groups I think right now I'm in about two different school groups I'm in a general group and I'm in a marketing group as well and what this does is you're constantly in the know on what is happening if there is a circular if, it's, if there is a new example if there is a new style then you're always in the know I remember that it was a lecture we attended and nobody was really clear on what the lecturer was saying but because in that group there were different sets so my set is the January batch we had people in the September batch so it was easy because they had gone through that same lecture so it was easy for for them to connect us to the people that had already gone through that lecture we got a brief PDF that we could read that summarized what the lecturer was saying and so when you add this to the previous example that you have been given in class then it's easy for you to figure things out it's, it's easy for you to understand what is being taught and what your approach would be so if you're not in any student groups or you're not in your departmental groups maybe because the messages are annoying i know how annoying it is to get a lot of chats on your private whatsapp uh app but it is very useful and this is part of the process so try to join one or two groups because it's going to help you big time another thing that i wanted to tell you real quick about joining a school group is that it's easier for you to find your tribe especially now that it's the covid period it's locked down and we are not able to see physically everything is done online it is very important for you to find your tribe learning isn't easy learning is tedious and it can be very brain tasking and it's just crazy for you not to have a tribe during this one year of your master's program or four years of your undergraduate study because there will be days where you're just frustrated the other day I was writing my report and to be honest I was frustrated with this report although I still had an A <laughs> but I was frustrated and I felt as though I was the only one going through that frustration but on sending a message to someone in my tribe from the school group I found out that it wasn't just me experiencing this frustration she was also experiencing this frustration and we were kind of exchanging frustrations I know it's very funny but it's also motivating to know that you're not the only one going through the frustration so your tribe gets you through difficult times you're able to share ideas and just go through it together I have a video on finding your motivation and I'm going to link it somewhere here and in the description box below but basically you need to find your motivation going through the educational system is not a joke it's not easy to drag through a whole year of math masters or four years of undergraduate and I not understand the reason why you're doing it because when you don't understand it it's just going to be frustrating I am doing my master's program right now because I'm trying to prove to myself that I can be committed to my goal and that I can cross something off my bucket list and that I can learn that I can still do what I set my heart to do no matter how long it takes me to do it even when I don't feel like studying even when I don't feel like picking up that book I do it anyways because I am motivated to do so this is my final tip and it ties everything that I've been talking about together. So you need to create a study routine and stick to it. For me, I have a before study routine, I have a during study routine, and I have an after study routine. My before study routine includes taking care of all distractions before I study. So if I need to do anything before studying, maybe some house chores or whatever I need to do, 
I take care of that before I start studying. I also make sure to have a good night's sleep. Don't underestimate that. If you wake up in the morning and you have eye bags and you haven't had a good night's sleep, then it's going to show when you're studying. You're literally going to be dozing off while you're studying and it's just not going to be productive. But if you want to have a productive study day where everything you read or almost everything you read sticks, then you need to make sure you have a good night's sleep. And that's my before study routine. I know that studying can take me anywhere from two hours to 12 hours so I am ready I know that I'm going to be taking like 15 cups of coffee and a lot of snacking during the study so I make sure that everything is just the arms reach away from me another routine that works for me is to have a specific place of study once I move away from my bed or I move away from my couch to that particular spot then I'm ready to study and there is nothing that would distract me I also have my focus technique which is a pulmonary technique so I study for like 25 minutes and take five minutes break and I use that interval until I'm done with studying and my after study routine is to always exercise so once I'm done studying I do a lot of stretches every once in a while I can go for a walk I'll take a shower and that marks the end of the study so making sure you have a before routine a during routine and after routine can really help you prepare for that studying these are the strategies that are currently working for me let me know what works for you and which of these tips do you find most helpful which one are you going to start using right away let me know in the comment section below also if you have some tips that you use for yourself to do really well in your reports and your assignments your exam I would really love to hear it it may help me as well so leave it in the comment section below if you like this video you know what the ritual is give it a thumbs up it really helps this video and also don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss any of my video. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the comments. And I'm a lazy student but I notice that I keep getting straight A's so if you're interested in learning and like the fact that I'm lazy I keep getting straight A's so if you're interested to learn <laughs> It's just an intro, Hannah. It's just an intro. Okay, I'm doing it again. I am doing it again because perfection. Ah! Okay, and despite the fact that I'm lazy, I notice that I keep scoring stick. Ah. <laughs> it's that tongue twister. It's that tongue twister. Oh my god. Okay. Hello, if you're new here, my name is Hannah and I'm a master's student. I'm currently studying my master's in marketing with brand management. And despite the fact that I'm a lazy student, I notice that I keep scoring straight A's. If you're interested in learning how I do that, then keep on watching. <laughs> Woo!